Hey everybody, back again with another Two Minute Tools and Tips Tuesday here. This week we're going to take a look at the Gradle tool panel within Android Studio and look at a couple of its uses and how it can make working with Gradle tasks or plugins a little bit easier. So here we have a pretty typical build.gradle file for the basic Android Studio app. Well, notice at the top we have several plugins added. Now when we add these plugins, we don't always know what tasks are getting generated and associated with those plugins. What's more, we can add our own tasks as well, such as in the top level build.gradle folder for this project. One way to view all the available Gradle tasks for the project is to go to the command line and execute Gradle W tasks. Once that's finished running, if you scroll up in the output, you'll see all the available Gradle tasks grouped by their type. A more user-friendly way to view all of the tasks is to use the Gradle tool panel. If we open the tool windows option and select Gradle, we will open up the Gradle tool panel. It's also available by clicking the Gradle tab on the right hand side of the screen. Once the panel is open, we can start to expand the items and take a look at the available Gradle tasks. If we expand this dropdown, we'll see three Android tasks. If you right click, you can then run a task or mod a few when that task executes. In this example, you can see that tasks are split between the root level tasks and the app level tasks. Here we see a number of commands such as build related commands, install commands, and there's even another section with various other types of Gradle tasks available. One way in which this Gradle tool window is really useful is if we add a new plugin, in this case, we will add the KT Lint plugin. We can then open up the Gradle tool window and take a look at what tasks have been generated. We see now that there's a new formatting type and under that type, there is a KT Lint format task. This is a nice way to discover what has been added when we change the added plugins in our project. And one last convenience I'll point out is that if you click the little gear icon within the Gradle tool window, you'll jump directly to Android Studio's Gradle settings. Thank you so much for watching everybody. If you want more two minute tool and tip Tuesday, you can check out the full playlist on my channel. And if you want to stay up to date every time I add a new video, you can hit the subscribe button until next time.